But let's talk about uh, former LSU defensive back and now current Alabama cornerback Eli Ricks. And Eli Ricks was busted last night uh, for driving over 100 miles an hour. Um, Reckless endangerment, I think, was one of them. And he had possession of marijuana in the car. And he was was actually arrested. Now, he was arrested in Mississippi. I think he was either headed back to Louisiana or he was headed home from Louisiana to Alabama. One way or the other. He was stopped in Mississippi. So he was actually arrested. Now, he's been let go now. You know, it didn't, whatever. Uh, But, you know, this is a a bit of a strange situation. Uh, I do want to know. You know, it, is this is this typical for Eli Ricks? Did any of this stuff go on at LSU? I, I try to keep up with this stuff as much as I could, um, but also uh, when it comes to Alabama, uh, you know, we, we've seen stuff like this just kind of get swept under the rug before. But it it became well, there's a, no doubt if he would have crossed that state line, it, we'd have never heard about it. And that's kind of what I was thinking. That's kind of what I was thinking. I, I would imagine this will this will eventually go away. But it's definitely not something that you like to have happen when you are heading into a season where you are the, the preseason number one, you know, shortest odds to win the national title uh, going into the 2022 season. Uh, give me your thoughts on, on Eli Ricks getting arrested. So the old man in me is going to come out. Driving 100 miles an hour is not safe, man. When I was young, okay, okay I, never, I never had enough money to have a vehicle that could go 100 miles an hour. Um, <laughs> and, and now that I finally do, uh, I, I don't want to do it because but I value my life and I value the life of other people a little bit more. I, I have a I have an issue with that, but that's just young, dumb, and and and, and that no, nobody has a patent on that. All right, it's not because he's at Alabama that he did this. No, no, this is this is eighteen, nineteen, twenty year olds who who feel invincible, and this is what they do. And I, yes. I, I just the old man in me wants to tell them, hey, let's chill out a little bit. All right. Right? I got no problem with the bag of weed in the back seat. Well, no, because okay. if he had been pulled over in Louisiana, uh, that wouldn't even be like that wouldn't be a crime. No, smoke a little bit of that, and you'll slow your ass down. Okay, now, I'm not <laughs> telling you to smoke and drive. I'm just saying he wouldn't have been going 100 miles an hour if he'd have been cheaping on the weed. Yeah, you're probably right. In the state of Mississippi, the great Magnolia state that we live in, that plant is very illegal still. Very illegal. Very, 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 very illegal. Illegal to a point to where we passed medical marijuana in 2016. Passed it, no, 2020, passed it by yeah. 73% population vote. Passed it. And our state legislature of Mississippi said, uh, our citizens do not know what they are getting themselves into. And we are going to somehow make this not happen. It was the, they uh, hate yeah, it was the Supreme so Court. Bad. Yeah. The state Supreme Court, yeah. yeah. They, they hate pot so bad that they're willing to say, 73% of the population in Mississippi do not know what they are talking about, and we're going to take this away from you yet again. Yes. So, very illegal in this state. you got to know these things if you're going to be driving around in them. It's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So, uh, but I don't, I don't think – look, look he, he's never – I'll say this. If you enjoy pot, LSU was not the school for you over the last 10 years, 15 years, because they came down real – We've had several big time players, star players, five star guys transfer out, and they were not like hiding it. Uh, who was the big defensive guy that transferred, or offensive lineman maybe, transferred out last year to Kentucky? Um, uh, uh, Rosenthal. 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 Yeah. And he openly said, two recruits coming in, you like to smoke weed, don't go to LSU, because they are going to test you. They will not cover it up, and they will suspend you. Yes. Yes. And I, it's dumb. It's one of the things that pisses me off the most. We fight over stupid things all the time. <laughs> hey, you were not wrong at all. It, it's strange. I have it's a lot strange. of people try to tell me that that's like, my opinion of it being dumb. And other people see pot as very dangerous. And so they are glad that it's illegal. And I tell them, your opinion is wrong. Yes, My that's not an opinion. That's just wrong. The world, <laughs> the world would be a better place if they just made me the czar over everything. If I could just snap my fingers and make everything right. We would have very few problems. You, uh, you got your application in for NCAA president? Now, I don't know how to do that. 
I, th- I think they posted it on like Indeed or something. On Indeed, I, I do th- have a bomb ass resume. There you go. Because well, I did just apply for a big boy job that I never even got a call back from. Well, but, there you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, y'all put in for this one. I'm gonna post to it. Do you think that me referring to the organization as a terrorist group at any point in time will come up, or what are the chances that they just didn't listen? I would imagine that they didn't listen, but if they ever took you seriously as a candidate, they'll probably they'll probably comb through some of our prior shows. <laughs> I'm gonna bet I'm gonna bet you're wrong on both of them. Well, I'm gonna bet you're right on the first count. I'll bet you're wrong on the second one. You don't I'm gonna think... bet there's no chance they're gonna spend the next thirty two hours or have somebody spend the next thirty two hours listening to this. And if they do have someone do that, that person's going to be low wage, college age, and they're going to like me. Probably so. You're like, bring this dude in. He's perfectly fine. He's never done anything wrong in his life. <laughs> you might be right about that. And if you are that person <laughs> right now, find me, call me. I promise you, I bet I pay better than the NCAA. You can. I uh, bet they pay you nothing. You can find Chris on Twitter at Chris B G and any. Yeah. <laughs> My DMs are open. Some people say mean things. Some people say nice things. You can say anything you want to. Be. There you go. There. I block nobody. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.